India came to fall on this day in 1915. This day reminds us of our freedom struggle and how the great freedom fighters of our country sacrificed their lives to get us the freedom of Swaraj. Because of their struggle that today we are living in a democratic country that each citizen has the right to equality, right to freedom, right against exploitation, right to freedom of religion, cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedy. Today is the day to reaffirm our commitment to unity in diversity, fraternity and equality among all our citizens. I would like to wind up my speech followed by a moment of silence for the great leaders and freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives so that we can live in a democratic nation. Freedom in mind, strength in word, pureness in our blood, pride in our souls, steel in our hearts that salutes our India on Republic Day. Thank you. India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution in attaining our ideals our means should be as pure as the end after all we are sitting here not in our individual capacity but we claim to represent the people of the great land our sanction is not the british parliament our sanction is the people of india the, and therefore we have to make an ultimate appeal to the people of our country jai hind we want deeper sincerity of motive a greater courage in speech and endlessness in action
hero. My soldiers are my hero. The martyrs paid cause. I love my country most. With golden sparrows flight, I will take it to new height. Not pundit, not jet. I am Indian first. Jai Hind. Respected principals, teachers, parents, and all my dear friends. First of all, I wish you a very happy Republic Day. I would like to thank my class teacher for giving me an opportunity to speak about this proud day. Today we are celebrating 73rd Republic Day, 26th January 1950, India got its constitution. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is the father of our constitution. We are celebrating Republic Day every year on 26th January. Republic Day is the national festival of India. It is a proud day for our country. On this day, our national flag hoisted and the national anthem Jenny Ganamana is sung. Republic Day Parade is the big event of our festival, our national festival. This parade is held at Rajpat in New Delhi, where the Indian president takes the salute from the parade. Republic Day is celebrate schools and colleges with the great joy and happiness. Republic Day teaches us live, peace, love and unity. So my dear friends, come let's let's celebrate Republic Day and love our country. I am proud that I am an Indian. I love my country very much. Once again, I wish you all a very happy 73rd Republic Day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. I am from Punjab. I speak Punjabi. I am from Uttar Pradesh. I speak Urdu and Hindi. It's a wonderful country. It's an amazing country. It's a wonderful country. It's an amazing country. I am proud to be an Indian. We are proud to be the Indian. We are proud to be an Indian. We are proud to be the Indian. It's a country of great leaders. It's a country of brave people. 
It's a country of great leaders. It's a country of brave people. It's a country of unity. It's a country of diversity. It's a country of unity. It's a country of diversity. It's a wonderful country. It's an amazing country. It's a wonderful country. It's an amazing country. I am proud to be an Indian. We are proud to be an Indian. I am proud to be an Indian. We are proud to be the Indian. Thank you.
morning parents teachers and my beloved students today is a special day today is the day when india lay down her constitution on january 26 1950 i wish you all a happy republic day as india celebrates her 73rd republic day my heart swells with pride on being an indian her journey all these years to be, to be where she is now was not an easy one the path was filled with thorns obstacles portals etc but she steered herself forward with her head held high slow but steady now india is the fourth most powerful country in asia a gdp of 8.4% sixth largest economy by nominal gdp and is among the top 10 countries in the world in terms of world heritage sites india ranks 48th out of 131 countries in global innovation index that is according to the 2020 report 18th out of 66 in it industry con- competitiveness that is in 2016 report and 134 out of 176 in ICT development index india was able to achieve these because of the vision of our leaders and constitution makers post independence the constitution of india is the supreme law of the country this document lays down the framework of how a country should evolve Dr Ambedkar was the first law minister of independent India who introduced the final draft of the constitution in the constituent assembly. India has the longest constitution in the world and the largest democratic country in the world. The constitution lays India as a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. The fervor and grandeur with which we Indians celebrate the Republic Day is beyond description with the parade from the Rashtrapati Bhavan to the India Gate. This year, however, the pandemic has changed only the way we celebrate the Republic Day, but the pride remains the same. India faced the pandemic with resilience and grit. Dear children, as we celebrate this day let us remember all our freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives to give us what we enjoy now let us learn to give rather to give, take only let us join our hands to enjoy the spirit of freedom as responsible citizens with a vision let us denounce violence in any form I end my message shouting Bharat Mata Ki Jai thank you Mandi Mata